And finally, you'll see the faces that go with some of those famous voices you hear all the time on television and radio. So stay with us. For two on the town. turns gutting light one day take one weekdays on cbs television share in the drama of people torn between passion and power disappointment and dreams in the making of as the world turns the salad chefs are preparing the calf casino french buffet for luncheon plenty of crisp green lettuce chilled asparagus carrots radishes salad nissoise with tuna smoked salmon a cold roast beef salad can you make yourself salivate just a little bit more? <clears throat> you wow. Superior overall, 024, by 39 to 11. And now Dodge announces the 024 Miser with great mileage, sticker priced at $52.99. And with 6% off, 024 is 2,000 less than the cheapest 200SX. A limited time offer. That was, uh, I got 13. <clears throat> That's enough. Pack it in, take the whole thing, send it to the cat. He's got to work on it himself. I can't help it anymore. Okay. The most successful actors in Hollywood, but you probably don't oh, even know their names. Oh, oh, and if you pass them on the street, you wouldn't even give them a second glance. Hey, what time That's you because it's for? not their faces Where's that have made them famous. It's their voices. Dryers, grand ice cream. Boy, boy, what a good ice cream. There's something about a deep, confident, resonant voice that sells people. Some voices sell better than others. In fact, for years, people have been buying products from these men without ever knowing who they were. He may get nudged away, but no cat ever walked away from Frisky's Buffet. And something about Gerber's. Oh, I forget. You tend to forget some of these slogans over the years, I'm sorry to say. However, I will never forget... Never borrow money needlessly. That's a good one. Danny Dark is one of the most successful voices in the business. For 16 years, he's been urging you to buy everything from candy to cat food. Two years into radio, I first heard that word residuals and began to understand the concept of it and absolutely loved it. What a, what a wonderful way to make a living, uh, to have commercials running while maybe while you're asleep or while you're at the beach or something and 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 you're making money that's just a delightful way to to uh, proceed sometimes the big voice comes attached to an equally large man bill whitman is a case in point tuesday night on the cbs television late movies it's the emmy award-winning series lou grant Ed Asner stars as the hard-hitting but compassionate city editor, heading a dedicated staff of reporters, including... You have to have fun when you go into these uh, studios, because you don't know where your producer has been, you don't know where your director's been, you don't know where your editor's been. They could have been out and just had a fight with their wife or someone, and it could have upset them, and when they come in, they see the talent, and they just work the talent to death. They just take it out on them sometimes, you know. But uh, when it reaches the point of being nasty, I just stand up and I say, well, you know, uh, come here, boy. And they don't, they don't bother me anymore. You know? But when anybody ever asks me about how much I make, I, that's the only time in my life as an announcer that I start to stutter. <laughs> Honest, believe me, I, I can't quite uh, get it all out. <laughs> For the top announcers, six-figure incomes are the norm. While the lifestyle is easy, the work is often demanding. Oh, two, uh, don't need any of that. For driving and riding comfort. For driving and riding comfort. For driving and riding comfort. Now, this is the tag. Ernie Anderson may be one of the most recognizable voices in the business, as well as one of the highest paid. But it wasn't always this easy. You pay a lot of dues, you know. There's a lot of times you walked out that door and you knew the guy went, too. Poof. Send somebody over here that can do this. You know, you just knew it, you know, and you, oh. You went back. Hang in there. Just do it. Do it. 
do it. You know, you, you get it after a while. Oh, well, can't. For Ernie, can't. the big time started in Cleveland, where he was Goulardi, the mad host of late night horror films. I first got my start as Goulardi when they fired me from Channel 3 and five you wouldn't hire perhaps me. Perhaps tell us uh, to what you owe the success of Goulardi. I owe the success of Goulardi to my outstanding talent. Goulardi was a cult hero in Cleveland, but Ernie's voice is much more famous today. It's hard work. It really is hard work. Could you be suffering from the all-night nightmare? For Channel 2 viewers, this voice is probably most familiar. Gene Moss is the voice of the Channel 2 News. If you ever lie awake at night, tossing and turning, you could be suffering from insomnia. Glenda Weiner shows you what causes it and some of the latest developments that might help you end it. Insomnia, a special report, this week on the Channel 2 News at 5 and 11. It could help put your nightmares to rest. Yeah, that was better. A lot of heart. Not much sleep, but a lot of heart. That's a wonderful way to make a living. I think anyone in the business would agree that it's, a, it's not necessarily easy, but if you have the talent and, and reach a point where you can make a living at it, it's a sure nice, a nice way to make a living. Uh, you know, nobody ever got a hernia from voice work. Wait a minute, one guy did. There was a time when people only were voice actors, and most actors, uh, many actors, disdained doing commercials or didn't realize how lucrative it could be. Today, when you go up to audition for a voice part, uh, you're up against some of the biggest actors in the business, as you hear, the Burgess Merediths and the James Garners and the uh, Richard Basarts, wonderful actors who have uh, make, do a lot of commercials and make very good money at it. So it gets more competitive every year.